It's a good time to be a fan of Netflix. Because while not everything is getting continued, rest in peace, Julie and the Phantoms, a lot of their shows are getting renewed, one of them being Outer Banks. The show might have just seemed like a teen drama mixed with treasure elements, but people have really resonated with it. And as a result, people keep watching it and Netflix keeps renewing it. And while it was technically announced before, Outer Banks has gotten its third season greenlit. Allow us to show you Outer Banks Season 3 renewed and Season 4 under work by the scripting team. Number 6. Outer Banks Overview If you don't know the show, we'll help you out. The Netflix fan favorite follows a crew of young misfits chasing riches along the North Carolina coast. Short, sweet, and to the point, wouldn't you say? If you've ever watched a teen soap, you know the drill. Characters love, characters fight, there are twists, not everyone is dead like you expect, and hijinks ensue. Season 1 accomplished the fireworks in its finale, in which orphaned fugitive John B. Rutledge's wild attempt to evade police capture led him to crash his boat directly into a tropical storm. But he and his rich girl flame, Sarah Cameron, were soon revealed to have survived the wreck. And not only were they alive and well, they were rescued by a boat that just so happened to be headed to Nassau, where $400 million in gold awaited them. But wait, season two ups the ante by a hair-raising degree. There are car chases, heists, a stolen ambulance, boat explosions, alligator attacks, a dubious doctor and his even more dubious approach to stitching up bullet wounds, allergic reactions to wasp stings, sewer floods, a murder in the pouring rain. Don't think too much about whether any of it makes sense. Just soak it in. By the time the second season ricochets to a close, it's impossible to remember all that's happened, but you'll be too drunk on adrenaline to care. And after that major reveal in the final seconds of the finale, all you can do is clap dumbly for an encore. Season 3 Confirmed Creator and showrunner Jonas Pate has previously revealed that he envisions four or five seasons of the show in total. Ever since we started, we always viewed it as something that was probably like a four-season, maybe five-season show, but definitely four seasons, he told Entertainment Weekly in April 2020. We've sort of long-arced it out pretty far. I'm just hoping that we get a chance to actually tell those stories. He also revealed that, before season one even came out, Netflix had greenlit us to write some season two scripts, and so a lot of people felt that season three would get the same treatment. And sure enough, it has become fact. The Pogues are coming back for more. Netflix have renewed the breakout series Outer Banks for a third season. Series regulars Chase Stokes, Madeline Klein, Madison Bailey, Jonathan Davis, Rudy Penka, Austin North, Drew Starkey, and Charles Esten will return for season three. Additionally, we'll be seeing more of Cleo in the upcoming season. Carlisha Grant, who recurred as the character in season two, has been promoted to a series regular for season three. The second season, which debuted in July, held the number one spot globally in Netflix's top 10 TV, English List for the four weeks following its launch. Jonas and Josh Payton Burke will all return as showrunners and executive producers for season three. Number four, potential plot. Netflix hasn't announced any official plot details yet, but it's safe to assume the third season will continue the treasure hunt of the first and second. That $400 million in gold is still nestled in the Bahamas. And now there's a bejeweled cross in the mix as well. Ward Cameron, Sarah's villainous father, is injured but alive having officially passed the baton to his increasingly erratic son, Rafe, who no doubt will be gunning for revenge against John B. and his crew. Meanwhile, John B. and Sarah are once again sort of married, and Cleo from Nassau has joined the Pogues, shipwrecked, presumably without food or water, on an island in the Caribbean. We can expect season three to feature their journey home, as well as their big plan for stealing back the cross and the gold. But most important will be the presumed reunion between John B. and his long thought deceased father, Big John who apparently knows something about the sacred garment the frightening Limbry seeks to heal her mysterious disease. Number three, Big John. Jonas Pate told TV Line that Big John's big reveal wasn't always planned. We knew we had that card. We didn't know that we would play it for sure, but around the sixth or seventh episode, when we were writing this year, we started to realize maybe we could do that, he said. He added that all the action in episode 10 of season two was meant to function as a distraction to leave audiences really on the wrong foot. So you can expect much of season three to focus on the long lost father's return. It's going to be instrumental in maybe the spine of season three, basically. Showrunner Shannon Burke told Entertainment Weekly, it's obviously a gigantic revelation that's going to power a huge part of the third season. I'm super interested to see how people are going to react or if they're even going to remember who he was. Number two, more romance. Of course, John B and Sarah will continue their pseudo-marriage. 
but the other characters have plenty of new love connections to explore. In an interview with Elle, Season 2 newcomer Kalasha Grant revealed she has plenty of plans for Cleo in Season 3, including a romance. I'm really interested in seeing this whole Cleo and Pope thing happen, if it does happen, she said, and I would love to see more of Cleo's backstory. I personally really want to see more of her, more of where she came from, and I want her to be more badass, definitely more badass. Burke teased that she too thinks there will be more room for romance now that the kids are all stranded together in Pogolandia. We were basically shot out of a cannon in Season 2, and we want to have a little more room for like our teen drama and teen romances in Season 3, just as a general principle, she told Entertainment Weekly. If you picked up on some sexual tension between JJ and Kiara this season, you certainly weren't alone. Bailey revealed to Cosmopolitan that she could see the ship taking off next season. We're both feisty, we're both always down for the crazy ideas. There's just something these two characters have inherently in common that could work. And the creators are well aware of how badly the audience wants the pairing to happen. Showrunner Josh Pate told EW, We were immediately open to Kiara and JJ getting together, because it seems like an interesting idea to explore, but we kind of left it for Season 3. And now that Season 3 is a go, you can expect more relationships to happen, and to have ups and downs and such. Number 1. How will Season 3 start? Presumably, Season 3 will pick up where Season 2 left off, on a deserted island in the middle of the Caribbean. But the show is called Outer Banks, so we doubt the Pugs will be able to keep away from the North Carolina coast for long. If that's the case, Klein has plans for Sarah once she's back in the OBX. I want to see her and John B have to kind of hash out what just happened. I want to see her personal relationships with her chosen family develop, she told Elle. Maybe we could get some backstory on her and Key's friendship. Maybe see her try to go to Pogue High School. Maybe see her try to get a job. Plus, you have to account for the fact that since this show is still going strong, they're already pinning season 4 to be ready in case they get the green light sooner rather than later. Asked if she thinks Cleo will enjoy living with the Pogues in the States, Grant told Elle, I think she's going to have a few hiccups. I think not being able to carry a knife on her waist might be a struggle. More seriously, Grant added, I think she will learn to adapt, but I know she's going to have hiccups because how is the Outer Banks going to take to her? She does talk with an accent. She is used to doing things her own way. There's going to be some things that maybe Kiara and Sarah and the Pogues are going to be like, yo, you can't do that. We'll hopefully find out more when Netflix gives the green light. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Outer Banks and how season three has been officially renewed for a third season? Are you glad it's getting a new season so that you can continue watching these characters? What do you personally hope happens in season three and even season four should that be confirmed to be happening? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.